It is so hot today, which I feel bad complaining about because I asked for this. I hate the winter. I'm a summer girl through and through and I've been begging for it to be hot. It's hard to make videos in the car though because this car is so loud and it also like shakes so I can't Anyways, I thought it would be fun to kind of do like a little weekend in the life because I feel like there's like a lot going on this weekend. Um, it's Thursday right now and it's the weekend before Coachella. So I'm invited to a couple little like fun gifting events. Um, so I'm headed to a guest one right now. And then later tonight I'm going to a Revolve one. So I thought it would be kind of fun to like, I don't know, vlog that. Tomorrow is the next jewelry drop, which I think is going to be fun. Um, and then might do like a dinner or something to celebrate. Um just a couple other fun things this weekend, so let's go. I can't tell if these things actually work or if it's like a body dysmorphia placebo effect. I just got home from the event and I thought it would be fun to kind of show you guys what I got. And also, honestly, like... Not to get too deep, but I'm having like a big sort of like moment of gratefulness. And I know it sounds very LA to like say I'm having a moment of gratefulness over like a guest gifting Coachella event. But I've been on the internet like a really, really long time, like 10 years. And, you know, I haven't been an influencer for that long. I have had times where I was fully living off of being a YouTuber and then I get a job at a marketing agency and I worked at like Playboy for years and that was like way after I was like a YouTuber. I don't know why I keep putting that, it just feels, anyways. And then, you know, I would like do my own thing or work on the podcast or whatever. And this is kind of the first time in my entire like online career that I've actually had the audience that I really want, which is like mostly other women. I've historically had a really high male audience um, just due to the nature of like the kind of videos I was making when I was younger, which were more like vlog, comedy, little sketches, or like even like gaming and stuff like that. And so I kind of never really felt seen in a certain way. And um, on a more like surface level, I never really was able to partner with brands that I actually like love and were excited for. And the more I kind of lean into this more, you know, fashion side, styling, hauls, and having an audience that's similar to me and, that, you know, has the same interests as me and we have the same styles or are interested in the same things, you know, I'm getting reached out to as it goes by brands, um, just even for like gifting and stuff. And it's the first time it's happening. And it's so exciting for me. I know that sounds silly, but like, it's so exciting to like have two events in one day and one's for guests and one's for Revolve. And like, you know, I have brands and DMs being like, we'd love to send you something. And they're brands that I genuinely like. And it's just cool because I've never had that before. Um, and I'm just having a big moment of gratefulness that, you know, I'm, ha I'm meeting all these like incredible women and having cool conversations and like being inspired and inspiring maybe a little. I don't know. It's very cool. So anyways, uh, I just got home. It's like one o'clock. I'm going to do some work for the rest of the day and just catch up on some stuff and then get ready for the event tonight. I also look kind of tired because I don't know, do you guys, I do this thing where if I, if I know I have to get ready at night and I'm getting like ready, ready, I like can't do it during the day. I can't do two. Cause then you either have day makeup for the night or you have to fully get ready twice. And that sounds awful. So anyways, we're looking a little tired, but that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna quickly, before I get started on some work, show you guys little stuff I got. I'm trying to also be very intentional now that this stuff is happening to me because I have so much shit. I have a huge closet and I really, 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 you know, there's like, I think a lot of excitement around getting free stuff and you want it all, but I'm trying to be very intentional about only accepting things that I know a thousand percent that I'm going to wear. So Bloom was there. That was cool. So we got a little goodie bag of Bloom stuff. I didn't even actually get two things. I got one thing because I got something else for Kellen, which is this. It's very his style. He wears these with like a wife beater underneath and slacks, but I think for summer, it's gonna look really, really nice on him. So, and then I just got these really like cute, simple baggy cargo pants that I'm excited about. I sized up so I could wear them like really low waisted and they fit great. I love them, I'm really excited. I love the little pocket on the back. So this is great. I'm really excited about these and I'm excited to wear them. And then I got home and this baby had come in the mail, which is amazing. I love this so much. I'm very excited about it. Um, the brand, I'll put it down below because it's like Carol, but I remember if it's like Carol by Caroline or something like that. So 
she makes these and they're so cool. And I'm very, very, very excited about this. The ferocity in which I bought this when it dropped was like, it was shocking. Use the Apple Pay, it was like within 10 seconds in the drop, this was mine. Anyways, let's, let's get on with our day. It's really hard for me to make and sell jewelry because I love jewelry and I'm making pieces that I would wear. Um, so every collection, I allow myself to keep one piece, just one. And this is the piece I decided to keep for collection two. It's on antique lace and it has three separate vintage Mary pendants. And it's a joker, of course. I'm very happy with my choice. There are a few others that almost made the cut that I was very tempted to keep, but I'm very happy with this one. I actually think I just finished my website for the drop and I'm very excited. And it's just Squarespace, but it always feels good to make something yourself. And I'm actually I'm pretty excited about this. Like, this is pretty cool. I made this, you know? It's not anything crazy, but like, it's still exciting. Okay, so I know I was going to do like a whole weekend vlog. Um, it's Saturday. I skipped Friday, um, but I wanted to give a little update. I skipped it because yesterday was the drop of collection two of my little reworked vintage jewelry thingy that I'm doing. Um, and it went so well. The first collection sold out in three days. And I was shocked by that. Um, granted, there's only 20 pieces. This one was like 25 pieces. Um, this one... The website went live at 1 p.m. I refreshed it at like 1.10 and like five pieces had sold. And I was like, oh my God. And then I refreshed it, you know, obviously throughout the day. And there are, as of right now, two pieces left. Um, so I'm very grateful. It hasn't even been 24 hours. Um, so it feels like it's probably gonna sell out even quicker this time. I'm so happy and I'm already like working on a summer collection. And yeah, it was just kind of a whirlwind day. So it went really, really well. Some other work stuff. Um, with other little ventures went well and I'm just very excited and grateful and happy. So Anyways, I'm excited. Um, it's Saturday and I did some work this morning I'm headed now to a meow sample sale in Beverly Hills, which I'm very excited about. I love that brand I'm not like, you know, hell-bent on finding something but I have to be in Beverly Hills anyway at three o'clock because I'm doing something sort of silly and I'm getting my extensions put back in. I thought that I could live without them and I was like, I'm gonna save some money and just get them taken out. But it's summer. I love long hair for summer. Uh, my hair's right now like slightly past my shoulders. So I'm not gonna get as many extensions because last time I like cut my hair to my ears and then immediately hated it. So I got a, like a shit ton of extensions. I don't need that many this time, um, but I am getting extensions. So I'm very excited about that because I just feel like I don't know, I'm my most me when I have like long flowing hair. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna hit both of those right now and let's see how it goes. I did it, I braved the line, I braved the try on line, I braved the checkout line, and I've secured just a few little things for me and for Gabby, but I did it. <laughs> Okay, the sun is just at a point where it is directly in my eyes but very quickly before i went inside i'm home i wanted to show you long hair is back it is back and i am so happy i'm so excited absolutely worth hours in the chair because i just feel like me again i'm just very i'm very happy with the extensions so i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna take my makeup off i'm gonna look through what i got at the meow sale and i'm just gonna have a nice saturday night in the prices at the Meow sale were honestly really, really good. All of the skirts and bottoms were $30. So I got this little mini for me, and I got this midi one for my best friend. And then I also ended up getting this cute little kind of like tie top. Uh, this was 20 So really, really, really good prices compared to like what they are full price online. And they had a big selection. So it was a very successful sample sale, I'd say. So it's Sunday morning. It's Easter Sunday. And I woke up to this from Kellen. He got me an Easter basket. It was my favorite gummy bears. And he got me this Amy Winehouse book that I'm very excited about. Flowers and all of my favorite chocolates. And it wouldn't be Easter without eggs. And they're all actually filled with jelly beans. Wow. I didn't do that. What a guy. What? What a guy. That was 
all the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Point it's Sunday, still feeling great about my extensions. I just spent the afternoon working a ton. I filmed a bunch of videos that I'm really excited about. We cleaned up the house. We're having a game night tonight. And yeah, I think that's the weekend. You're very proper. Okay, bye. <laughs>